Awesome. All right, let's get started today, you guys. Um, make sure you have your water next to you. If you need a towel, grab that, whatever you need. We'll find our space. Today will be similar to yesterday. So if you guys were with me on the first two days, those workouts were really similar. I just wanna give you guys a chance to really practice the skills that we learned yesterday or the movements that we did. And so I won't change it up too much. It might look a little bit different, but very similar to yesterday, just to know what to expect, okay? So with that being said, we do need to start our workout with just a little bit of a warm up. So let's set our ball down for just a moment. We just have two things here we're gonna do for the ankles and the hips. We're gonna try this again. Yesterday, what we did is we brought our foot up and we worked on these slow controlled hip circles. Okay, this is gonna get our leg warmed up. It's gonna get this leg warmed up. We're just gonna try to find our balance. If we need to hold on to something, we can hold on to something. Well, let's try to keep our legs straight, right? We're gonna stay tall. We're gonna keep that leg circle going for five, four, three, two, one, relax. Other leg, okay, ready? Let's get tall. We're gonna try to find our balance as best as we can. And we're gonna circle, just pick a direction. Woo, there we go. Get tall, good, nice and controlled. Try to keep this leg straight. If you need to lower it, you can lower it. Or challenge yourself to bring it up as high as you can. Keep breathing, five, four, three, Two, one, good job. We've got big hip circles. Let's go hands on the hips. We're gonna push our hips out and around. Again, this gets the ankles, the knees, and the hips. We're just gonna go three circles in each direction, okay? Keep pushing, driving as far as you can each way, and then we'll switch it up. Keeping that generous bend in the knee, so really keeping that bend right here. Good, awesome job. And then our last one, because we will be moving side to side today, it's gonna be just our ankle circles right here. We're gonna lift one foot off the ground. We're gonna point the toe down, scoop the foot in, pull the toe up, and scoop the foot out. So we are trying to make as big of an ankle circle as we can. The slower you go, the better, okay? We wanna be really intentional behind this. Five, four, Three, two, one, awesome job. Last one, here we go. Ankle circles, we're pointing, we're scooping in, pulling that toe up, scooping the toe down. Again, just as big as you can make that ankle circle. Good job. Again, we're practicing our balance here as well. A little single leg stability. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. All right, let's grab our basketball. So we're gonna build on what we did yesterday. We're gonna do two rounds of this today, okay? So we'll cycle through it. The first one is just our walking high knees. We're gonna pass the ball underneath our leg. Every time you bring your knee up, I want you to bring your toe up too. That's gonna help whenever you press back down into the ground. So we're gonna go knee up, toe up, and then take a step. We're passing the basketball underneath we're getting the legs warm, we're warming up the hips, but we're also gonna try to keep our eyes up. So we're practicing not looking at the basketball as we're moving through space. Once you get to one side, you can just turn around. Remember, if you don't have a lot of space, I can stay right here. I can still march. I can still work on keeping my eyes up. If you have some room, you can walk side to side. We'll do it one more time down and back. There you go, again, can you keep your eyes up? How high can you bring that leg? Can you stabilize on one leg? Last time. Good, knee up, toe up, knee up, toe up. Eyes and chest are up, good job. Now we're gonna walk low. So we're gonna lunge, pass the ball under our leg. Lunge, pass under, okay? We're just gonna move in one direction. So I'm gonna turn around. If you have more space, use it. If you don't have a whole lot of space, that's okay. You can stay right here, just stepping forward and stepping back. All right, but I'm gonna move across my living room here. I'm gonna try to keep my eyes up as I sink down low into that lunge. So maybe the legs are 
starting to burn a little bit. We're getting those legs stronger. Still working on passing the ball, right hand to left hand without looking. Keep going, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, good job. All right, now we have our sit-ups. This is where we come down to the ground. We're gonna bring the ball in between our leg if we can and then pass to the other side. We're gonna sit up, pass the ball underneath. If you can't pass underneath, you can still sit up with the basketball here. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. We've got our sit-ups. Making sure that we work our core muscles. Our core, having a strong core is extremely important to living a healthy life and to being a good basketball player because it really comes in handy to keep us strong, keep us stable as we move. Keep breathing here. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. We're gonna stay down on the ground. We're gonna go with our shooting drill like we did yesterday from our bridge position. So we're right here. We're gonna keep our hips on the ground. We got one arm, we're gonna shoot and catch. Trying to practice that follow through, okay, at the top. Ready, three, two, one. Again, stay on one side. Getting the wrists nice and warm. If you're not comfortable going very high, that's okay. You can keep it low. Whatever feels like a good challenge for you guys today. Stay with it. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Other hand. Okay, we're going to practice our other hand. Just do the best you can. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. One, go, go. Good, you guys keep going. I'm gonna come check. Again, we're working that follow through on the opposite side. Good job. Yes, looking good, looking good. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Good work, you guys, you can stand on up. Good. Good. Take a little break. If you need some water, grab a quick sip of water. And then we're going to keep moving, okay? All right. So we're going to go through that one more time, but we're going to move a little quicker, okay? So we've got our high knee steps. I'm going to challenge you if you can go backwards to then reverse that direction. So now I'm gonna move forward, and then I'm gonna come backwards, okay? Ready, three, two, one, go. So again, eyes are up. I'm gonna move forward, and then I'm gonna reverse it, or move backwards, again, using whatever space I have. A couple steps here, a couple steps back. Trying not to look at the basketball as you move. Nice, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, relax. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but with our low lunge, okay? We're gonna try to travel forward, and then we're gonna go backward. Ready? Three, two, one. So we're stepping forward now in whatever space we have, and then we're gonna try to reverse and then go forward again when you reach the end. Again, forward and backwards. Super important that we're able to move forwards and backwards and be in control of our breath and our body. Good, stay with it. Awesome job. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Going back to our sit-ups. One more time here, we'll come onto the ground. We're gonna go underneath the leg, or you can sit up and press, okay? 30 seconds, ready? Three, two, one, go, go. Every time you come up, exhale. Exhale through the effort. 
Inhale when you come down. Exhale when you come up. Inhale when you come down. Exhale when you come up. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Again, we need a nice, strong core to be strong through our movement in the game of basketball and in life. Keep going. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Good work. All right. Last time with our bridge shot. This time the challenge is, if you can, to lift a leg. So I'm going to put one leg on the ground, lift my opposite leg, and I'm going to go through my follow-throughs. When we switch, we'll switch legs, okay? So now you're going to try to lift and then lift one leg. If that's not working, keep both feet on the ground, okay? Whatever feels like a good challenge for you today. We're all different, and that's okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. So I'm either here or I'm trying to challenge myself by lifting one leg. It's going to be a lot harder to lift one leg at a time here. So if you need to bring that foot down, always just bring that foot down to the ground. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Last time here, you guys, other side. So other leg is going to be working. Other hand is working. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Again, if I need to bring my foot down, I'm going to place both feet on the ground. If I'm up for the challenge, I'm lifting one leg, practicing my follow through. So now I've got that lower body working real hard to be strong there, stabilizing my hips. Good. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. One, good, stand on up. This is your little water break. Grab a quick sip. We're gonna go into some lateral shuffles next, okay? And if you need some water, grab a sip of water. You guys are doing excellent. So, I'm gonna put my ball down, right to the side. Make sure that I have enough space to step, step, okay? So when we talk about the lateral lunge, or sorry, the lateral shuffle, which is what we're working on, we're thinking about these angles here. So as I step, step, I want my ankle to be on the outside of my knee. And then I want my knee to be on the outside of my hip. And then my chest right here, inside of my hip. Okay, so I've got chest, hip, knee, ankle. That's because when I stop, I don't want all of my weight to be going this way. I want to be ready to push to this side. So when I stop here, again, I'm ready to push to the opposite side. So we're going to go here, here, stepping right to left, working on stopping strong and then changing directions, okay? We're going to do three rounds of 30 seconds. Go ahead and find your space. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Now, you can go as fast or as slow as you need to. So if you're feeling good, go ahead and pick up that pace. Make sure every time you stop. You sit back and down, push those hips back and down, load up the backside. Even if you don't have a lot of space, y'all, we can step, 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 step. We're going to use what we've got. If you have a lot of room, you can go longer. Three, two, one, relax. Stand tall, take a big inhale, slow exhale. One more time, big inhale. Slow exhale. Good. Again, we always come back to being in control of our breath. That's really important, right? We got round two, so we're going to do that same thing again. Ready? Let's get low. Going in. Three, two, one. Here we go. See if you can go a little bit faster this time. There you go. Again, working to have the ankle on the outside, then the knee, then the hip. Pushing off the ground. Good, nice and strong. Keep breathing, keep moving. We're gonna work on our conditioning today here. Go ahead and push yourself, you can do it. Maybe keep a smile on your face, that always helps. Three, two, one. Good job, stand tall. Come back to that breath. 
Good. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more breath. In and out. We have our best round yet. Last round, best round on these, okay? Let's get ourselves set. We have 30 more seconds. Let's stay low. Let's make sure we're keeping those angles and sitting back when we stop, okay? Three, two, one. Here we go, last time. Come on, come on. There you go, good. I see everyone working so hard. Technique is looking good. We're working on that change of direction. Good, fast feet. Keep breathing, keep moving. You're stronger than you think, I promise. Come on, less than 10 seconds. Woo. There you go, five, good, four, three, two, one. Good job, grab some water. Grab some water, take a nice inhale, exhale here. Come back to that breath. Good work. Just reset. Again, breathe. All right, we have one more before we pick up the basketball and start dribbling. It's our lateral hops. We did these yesterday as well if you were with me. So now, instead of stepping to the side, I'm gonna hop to the side. So you can see my angle is not quite the same, but I'm still sitting low. So every time I land, I'm pushing my hips back to load up my backside, pushing back. Push, push from the side here. I'm gonna hop, hop. If you need this other foot to come down for some balance, that's okay. If you can lift the foot, try to keep the leg lifted, okay? We're gonna work for 30 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, here we go. This is another one. If you have space, you can challenge how far can you go? If you don't have that much space, no worries. We're right here. Just a little side to side. Getting the arms moving. Keeping the eyes up. There you go. Almost up. Breathe. Stay strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Stand tall. Take a breath. We only have one more of this one today, okay? We're gonna do that one more time. Come back to your breath. Anytime you get a break, in and out. It's a good practice to build, right? Here we go. Last time, 30 seconds, ready? Going in, three, two, one. Here we go, last time. Now we're hopping, side to side. Then arms are moving, good. If we need that foot to come down, cool. Let's use that foot. If we can find our balance, let's keep that opposite leg up. Remember, sit those hips back and down, back and down. Good. Strong legs. Keep working. You got it. Almost done. Finish strong. Keep that effort there. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. This is another breather. Grab some water. Now we're going to pick up our basketball, okay? Good work. Good work. All right. Now for this one, I got to move my dog again. You're right in the way, bud. All right. Sweet boy. All right. Now we're going to move forwards and backwards. We were doing this yesterday. This is what we worked on in the warm-up too, right? We walked forwards, then we walked backwards. But now we're gonna dribble. So what that means is, we're gonna try to stay low. We're just gonna use one hand, okay? And then we'll switch over whenever the time is up. All we're gonna do is step. Working on looking at the screen, all right? So I want you to keep your eyes up on me the whole time. If you can, again, you don't need a lot of space. Even if it's one step forward, one step back, We'll make that work, okay? Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. One side. Go forward and back. We're staying low. Great Keep job, it. Sawyer. Great job, Sawyer. Good job, Melissa. Good job, Good job Philip. Good job, Eric. Awesome. 
Love to see you guys working hard. Good job, Melina. Or uh, Melanie, sorry. Three. Good job. Two, one. Good. Stand on up. Yes. I love it. You guys are working hard. Thank you, Neil, for giving some shout outs. I love it. Let's switch up sides, okay? Other hand. Same drill. Forwards and backwards. Ready? Three, two, one. Forwards. And back. Good. Now I want to come see myself. I want to see you guys working. Keep it up. Let's see what we've got going on. There you go. Can you keep your eyes on the screen? Can you stay low? Good job, Melissa. I see you working. There you go, Eric, Sawyer, Philip. Yes. All my coaches. I see the high five in the screen. I like that. Give us a little high five if your eyes are up. Yes, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Let's give one more little high five as our breather right here. Good job, good job. Grab some water, okay? Take a breather. Now, up next, we're gonna be moving forwards and backwards, right? Just like we've been working on. It's important that we're able to go forwards and backwards in the game of basketball. But now we're just gonna do our crossover. So instead of going right hand, left hand, we're right here. Okay, we're switching hands. If the dribble is tough, just come right here to the fingertips. If you've got the dribble down, great. Let's work on keeping our eyes and our chest up. We're walking forwards and backwards. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Again, I'm going to come check in on you guys. See some of my coaches working. Stay low. Eyes are up. Vanya's still giving the high five. Coach Neil giving the high five. I love it. There you go. Looking good. Looking good. We're trying to go right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand. Yes, using that space that we have today. Choosing our pace, you can go fast or slow. That's up to you, you guys. Nice, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Woo, give us one more high five. I like the high fives on the screen. It's like I'm there with you. Yes, good. If you need some water, grab a little sip of water, okay? We're gonna keep working hard today, I love it. Vanya's got the towel. Yeah, I know. I'm sweating today. You can see it. It's okay. Woo! All right. So now, same thing. We're going to try to go forwards and backwards, but between the legs. So remember this drill from the beginning? We're going to do that same drill, but we're going to try to dribble the ball. So we're here, here, and then we come back. Still dribbling. Woo! Yeah, perfect. Use whatever space you have, okay? We're going to dribble now. If the dribble is tough, that's okay. Remember, we can come back to just passing so we can still make those legs stronger, still work on the coordination of the hands. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Between the legs. Let's get it. Forwards and backwards, y'all. Trying to keep the eyes up. Woo. There you go. Here. Good. And then reversing it. Yes. Keep going, keep going. Awesome job. Awesome job. There you go, Melanie. Looking good. Melissa, Sawyer, Philip, Eric, I love it. All my coaches, so strong. Keep moving, keep breathing. Still giving the high fives. Wow. <laughs> That's skill right there. Good. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, stand on up. Give us one more high five on the screen. Grab a sip of water. Yes, yeah, so far doing great. How are we feeling? You guys give me a thumbs up. How's it going? Feeling good? Feeling like you can build on what we did yesterday? Get a little bit better? I love it, okay? Now, we're gonna work on dribbling forward, trying to pick up our pace a little bit and then retreating back, right? So this is where, let's say, we catch the ball here. We're ready to shoot, we're ready to pass, we're ready to dribble. We're gonna come forward, we're gonna stop, and then we're gonna back up. We can switch hands, okay? We'll come forward, stop, bring it back. So we're moving forwards, and then we're dribbling backwards, staying low. So we've got our forward and our retreat. Ready? 
switching hands, right to left. Both sides are working here, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. Let me see you. Yes, good, Coach Adrian. Both of y'all, good. Yes, there you go, Melissa, good. Forwards and back, great. Coach Banya, Coach Neil, yep. We're staying moving. We're here and we're back. We'll switch sides. Make sure you're switching hands. Both hands are gonna get that work in today. Good. I like it. Every time you come to the screen, see if you can give us a high five. High five. Yeah. Keep it going. Woo. Good. Let's stay moving. We're almost done for the day. Come on. Come on. We've got 30 more seconds here. This one's longer. Keep it up. High fives all around. High fives all around. Can you keep your eyes up? some water. Give yourself a little round of applause. I love it. You guys are amazing. All right. Now I'm going to challenge you here. We're going to finish with just some push-ups, body weight push-ups, which seems so hard all the time. I don't know why push-ups never get any easier, but we're going to work on a little bit of upper body strength, a little bit of core strength because the core is a huge piece of strong push-ups. So we're gonna finish out. We have two rounds of 30 seconds of push-ups, okay? So I'm gonna step back here. I'm gonna show you what I'm looking for. What we're gonna do is either come to a high plank or my knees are gonna be on the ground. From here, what I wanna think about is squeezing my booty, squeezing my belly, or tucking my ribs towards my hips. And I want to keep that really, really tight. So as I come down to the ground, my hips stay in line with my shoulders rather than my hips sinking low. So I want to keep this nice and tight. Again, I can be on my toes or my knees. We have two rounds of 30 seconds, okay? Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. See if you can count your reps. And then we're gonna try to get the same number of reps on round two. There you go, good. Remember, maybe even from the knees, whatever you need to do to keep a strong push up. Good, keep moving, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, relax, take a breath. If you were counting, I want you to try to keep that same number or even beat it. See if you can do at least one more rep on this last rep. Okay, we're gonna finish strong. Shake out your arms. Take an inhale, exhale. Here we go. Final 30 seconds still before we stretch. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Last 30 seconds, we've got our push ups. We're breathing, we're keeping that core nice and tight. Yes, I love it. There you go, Eric, I see you. Good job, Philip. Good. Checking in on you guys, doing amazing. Beautiful push-ups. You guys are so strong. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, give us a high five. If you counted, Will you write your reps in the screen? Let's see how you guys did. Did anybody count their reps? <laughs> Any of my coaches, did y'all count? Melissa, did you count your reps? What'd you guys say? Ooh, awesome job. Strong push-ups, I love it. Great work, you guys, great job. Let's grab a sip of water. Okay, we're gonna do a couple stretches and we'll close it out for today. Good job, Sawyer. Good job, Melissa, I love it. Good job, coaches. 
Wow, nice, Melanie. Good work. Good work. All right, let's do a couple stretches, you guys. First one we're going to do, since we just hit the upper body, is going to be interlocking your fingers behind your back, driving your knuckles down towards the ground, and we're going to roll out our neck here. So what that means is we're going to bring one ear to our shoulder. We're going to lift our chin up towards the sky. We're going to bring the opposite ear to shoulder and then bring that chin all the way down to your chest. Again, we go ear to shoulder. Chin comes up and around. Ear to shoulder, chin to chest. Let's switch directions. Other way, nice and slow. Keep the breath really slow, really calm as we go through this decompression, y'all. Just a couple stretches today. Good, one more. And then we can relax there, okay? Now we're gonna get the inside of the straight leg here just by sitting our hips back. Again, one leg's gonna stay straight. All right, I'm gonna take a big breath there. And then I'm gonna stand tall. So every time I shift sides, my straight leg, I'm gonna get a little stretch here as I push back and down on the inside of that leg. Take a big inhale, slow exhale. Other side, shift, big inhale, slow exhale. Good, one more rep. Other side. Beautiful job. Now let's bring our feet under our hips here. We're just gonna stand tall. We're gonna do a standing spinal roll. So what I do is I lift my chin, open up my chest, and then I tuck and roll, bringing my fingers down to my toes. Okay, at the bottom, maybe I hang out here, maybe I sway right to left, Grab opposite elbows, and then I'll slowly roll on up. Guys, okay, so we're, we're really loose. We're trying to lengthen out the back. We're trying to decompress our spine. So let's go through this together, okay? We'll go for about 30, 45 seconds here. We're gonna look up, and then we're gonna look down, roll the shoulders forward, allow the fingers to come down to the toes, Good, when you're at the bottom here, take a breath. Nice inhale, exhale, and then slowly make your way on up. Good, let's do it one more time, okay? Again, each rep is super slow, as slow as you can. Take a breath at the bottom. Slowly make your way on up. Let's lift our hands all the way up to the sky. Then let's give ourselves a nice pat on the back. Because you did awesome. Let's come up to the screen real quick. Give us one more high five. Good job. I love seeing that, you guys. Just a quick reminder before I pass it back and close it out is remember, drink lots of water, okay? Water's gonna help your body recover. It's gonna help you have higher energy. It's gonna put you in a better mood, all right? Your body needs water. And another thing I wanna remind you guys is just getting some good food in today, making sure that you're eating healthy food and getting lots of sleep, okay? Those are things that are, that are gonna help you not only really process what's going on. So all this information you're taking in, your brain will store those memories so that when you come back tomorrow, it's, it's in there, right? That helps us learn. Whenever we can sleep and recover, eating nutritious food is good for our muscles, good for our body. So those are really important things. Hydration, good nutrition, and sleep. Can y'all give me a thumbs up for that? <laughs>